Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to vlogs. Oh, hey, everybody, welcome back to vlogs. Today, um, Andrew and I are going to look at uh, this model home. Andrew's already been to it, right? Yeah, it was pretty cool. And since, you know, both in the housing market. Yeah. Why not? We wanted to go check it out. We also wanted to show it to you guys because I'm sure you would like to see a cool house too, right? Brittany and I have been living in the apartment we're in currently for a while now. And I think at the beginning of the new year, we're looking to buy our first home. So we just are exploring different areas and all the other options. And Andrew and Mary are kind of in a similar situation, but you know, just, won't, won't be as soon as them, but eventually. So we'll both have our own home real life homes that we own, so that's really cool. This isn't the model home, but guys, look at this house. It's got a fountain in the front. <laughs> and that door though. Here we found it. We're walking up right now, and it is a beautiful day out, might I add. Like, I'm in a sweater, you're in a t-shirt, we're both comfy. Yeah, feels great. Okay, we're here at the entrance. Behind you is the garage. And if you come this way, mother-in-law sweet. That's nice. So this is just a separate part of the house, not main house. Whoa. Uh, the builder out there. This is the main basement? Not yet. Not yet? What is this then? This is the father-in-law downstairs. <laughs> This is nuts. Wow. <laughs> and we haven't even got to the main no. part of the house yet. This no. is just, if you want to have someone living with you. No. <laughs> what the? This is sweet. <laughs> you could have like a fun party here. Yeah. Put a DJ. Wow. This is the entrance to the main downstairs, the basement. Okay, so that was side basement, main basement. Oh my goodness. Another bathroom here, just in case you can't hold it down the hall. And this random arts and crafts room. Yeah, oh. arts and crafts, fun. Beautiful backyard Yeah. for fun. Whoa, that is sweet. What? What? <laughs> a movie theater room? Yes. We can show our short films here, dude. We can have a release party? Yeah. Uh, let's check out the seats. Okay. I mean, guys, even though we probably would never live in this house, it's so fun just looking around. Whoa. I would have movie nights down here every night. They rock too. Justin, looking at big houses is fun because then you can get ideas to put in your own house, like a movie theater room. It doesn't have to be this big, but... Yeah, this is a really cool idea. But let's move upstairs. And what do we have here? Oh, you want some wine? What? <laughs> we could put this in the hallway upstairs. Good heavens. <laughs> this is meeting, meeting uh, dinner night. Every night, we everyone gathers here. <laughs> and this is where the making of the dinner happens. That's where we first started. Oh yeah. This is quite the architecture. And then you got this, uh, another maybe football night, watching football, or you watch it in the movie theater room, your choice. Bedroom. With an oh what, this is the master dude? What in the world? The shower. I was not expecting this to be such a giant area. Yay! Double. A nice and then a bathtub in the middle. Cl two closets. Bathroom. No way. This is a hidden bookshelf. Yeah. Dude! It says not working, but... So that closes and becomes a bookshelf. 
And then you can have guests over sometimes, you know. And you thought we were done? No. Time to go upstairs again. Sit here and read a book. Just a chill pad headquarters. This is for the kids. Kids rooms? A kid room. <gasps> That's pretty cool. Another model house. Um, I think Justin had to use the bathroom, but unfortunately not for public use. Thank you. There's <laughs> soap. And this one you can wash your hands if you want. This is the master uh Bedroom, bathroom, combo. Man. What the? There's no door to this. Now this home is smaller than the gigantic tour house, obviously. Yeah. We're just looking at smaller homes in comparison to the gigantic tour. Yeah, obviously we're not going to be able to get a gigantic tour house, but... What the? Whoa. I like this closet. Dude, what? Wife side? This is... Yeah, but look what's behind you. In the... In the closet. Cool. I would not need this much space for clothes, but... Will you accept? I'll accept. So, this is cool because the master bedroom goes right out here to the patio. And fire pit night, whatever yeah. you want. Mm -hmm. What I'm really wanting in a home is like a really cool backyard. I'd love to have like a fire pit, something like this, like really yeah. open. So like you could have friends over, cookouts. Oh, yeah, this is good. So this is really good. Let's go explore the... The house. Okay. Oh, I love these. That's such a cool place for TV. Yeah. The TV Ooh. fireplace. If we get a home, I'm gonna hire one of these model home builders. Like decorations in here. Are <laughs> on point. Yeah, exactly. I like this wall though. I am taking notes. Also, I really like cool kitchens because I like cooking a lot. So. Yeah. This. Is this one cool? This one. This is like a cool design because like you can eat there and then you got this little chill out area for book club. <sighs> yeah, except these chairs aren't that comfy. Another one. Oh. oh stop. Yep. Oh, yep. This, this is the fun area. <laughs> Yes, every good house has a wine cellar. <laughs> <laughs> this is my room. What? You're not allowed to have this room. Why? Because it's my room. Well, I think that's all for this house. Pretty cool, though. Hey, sorry about you. Hey, okay. You what are you doing? It's time to hit the weights. <laughs> you got your workout gear on, man? Yeah. Going to CrossFit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I, I can't remember if you told them you did that or not. Um, <coughs> last thing I said we were trying out the gyms, but we signed up. Well, that'll be a good go. workout. Buford, are you going to CrossFit too? I think you need to hit the CrossFit up a little bit. Hit the yeah. gym, bud. I just got back to the house and I'm probably gonna watch some Walking Dead. I haven't finished season six. And I love that show, so I'm probably going to relax. Hang with Daisy. What are you up to, bud? Smell something? <laughs> for dinner tonight, uh, Beck and Tyler, you guys should remember them, they invited us over for ribs. He said he's making ribs. Stopping at King Supers real quick, because they told us to bring over uh, some salad to accompany the ribs. What is this? Color Proud Organic Kale? Yes! We have made it. Tyler Becca, what do we have here? Well, we have homemade kombuchas. What flavor is that? This is strawberry guava. What? Made from imported Hawaiian. No guava. way. And this is passion fruit lilikoi kombuchas. Ooh, that sounds delicious. I have delicious. mango brewing in the closet. Look right, at man. you, man. And then we have strawberry that's in the fridge, but we only have a little bit left. And then this is the child's famous recipe of ribs. They're award-winning ribs. 
Hopefully they're the best ribs you've ever had. I'm so excited. Well, let's dig in then. Boom. So yum. Of course, we need to have some sort of dessert. Dessert, frozen yogurt. And it's kid night here. Whoa. Hey. I'm just kidding. Can I try? Yeah. <laughs> Gotta get some quick gas. Here's how much gas is here in Colorado, if any of you are wondering. Come on, focus. $2.14. Not bad, Colorado. Not bad. 25 bucks. Me and Brittany are sharing. Let's see how much she's ate. Did you save any for me? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Oh, stop it. <laughs> I'm not even what flavors are they? This one's like chai. This one's raspberry. Not my fave. Well, then I'll have it. Yeah, there you go. Yes! Dun 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 no, it doesn't film me. Six. Six. You yeah, filming me, with... fam? No. Right now, I'm on my way to pick up Mary and her friend Becca, because they hiked Pike's Peak this morning. They're going to be at the top pretty soon, so i got to get some gas. Mary just texted me and said they're one mile from the top. Way, 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 way up there. <laughs> This is the gate basically to get into Pikes Peak Highway. You gotta pay, I think, to go up. But for some reason, this line is just sitting here. I don't know what's going on. People are getting out of their cars and their people are turning around and going back down. It's like, I can't turn back down. My wife is up there. Here comes a guy. We'll ask him if he knows. Do you know what the uh, holdup is? Yeah, there's a semi coming down. It's just about down now. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, okay. We're just on that. Cool. Thanks. Daggum semi trucks, what are they doing up at the top of the mountain? drive is kind of scary sometimes because you can like look right over the edge <laughs> let's go find the ladies wow I feel like I was just up here another fun fact about the highway is they have this race they do every year with race cars they drive as fast as they can up it I think it took me like 35 40 minutes to drive up and I think the record is like eight minutes for these race car drivers and they were saying some of them go around the corners like 80 miles an hour I was taking the corners at five. It'd be so scary. Hey. hey! I'm very proud of you, Mary. Thank you. You guys did it in like Wait, six hours? Is this snow and ice. No, it's not. Go that way. Yeah, six hours. That's pretty good time. <laughs> I know. We did max squats yesterday, and Mary was a trooper and hiked a mountain the day after. <laughs> My butt is sore. I don't know how you hiked really? that. <laughs> Wrapped it in bags. You got me a donut. <laughs> yes.